Hi, second graders, it's Ms. Schultz. I am gonna to read to you a book about how banks work, and it is called, Where Do We Keep Money? How Banks Work, by Jennifer S. Larson. Contents, what is a bank? Bank accounts, making transactions, loans, credit cards, activities, glossary, further reading, index. What is a bank? Have you ever been inside a bank? This big bank is in Washington, D.C. A bank is a business that keeps our money for us. This is the inside of a bank. What's inside a bank? Well, there's money. The bank puts money in vaults to keep it safe. A vault is a special room with a big metal door. Security guards work at banks. They watch over the vaults. They also keep the people at the bank safe. Bank accounts. Many other people work at banks. A bank worker can help you set up a bank account. When you set up a bank account, you arrange to keep your money in a bank. Do you have a bank account? A checking account is one kind of bank account. When someone opens a checking account, the bank gives that person checks. A check is a piece of paper that the person can use to buy things. Checks are printed on special paper. They include lines for writing in the date and other details. So second graders, checks really are not used very often anymore. Instead of checks, most people use a debit card. A debit card is directly connected to a person's checking account. And what that means is every time that the person with the debit card uses it to purchase something, the money is taken out of that person's checking or saving account at the bank. So that's very, very different from a credit card, which we're going to learn about. When the person uses a check, the bank takes money from the person's account. The money is used to pay for things the person wants to buy. This man is writing a check to pay for items at a store. Now, what's very interesting about checks in the year 2021 is that a lot of stores or businesses may, might not accept a check. Um, it's it's uh, something that's become sort of old fashioned. A savings account is another kind of bank account. Savings accounts are used for saving money. Many people use booklets to keep track of the money in their savings account. When you put money in a savings account, you usually get more money. That's because most banks pay interest. Interest is money a bank gives you for keeping your savings at the bank. The more money you put in, saving, in a savings account, the more interest or the more money you can earn. So again, I want to talk a little bit about the this little booklet that this boy is holding. That again is not done very often anymore with a savings account. You might still see that, but that is kind of uh, going away. Making transactions. Tellers work behind the counter at banks. They can help you make a transaction. A transaction is a change to your bank account. Deposits and withdrawals are two types of transactions. Putting money into your account is called a deposit. Taking money out is called a withdrawal. Tellers count your money during a transaction. Then they record the transaction on a computer. The teller will give you a receipt after your transaction. The receipt tells you how much money you put in or took out of your account. Banks also send statements. A bank statement is a letter that tells you how much money is in your account. 
And nowadays, most likely you will get it on your computer in an email. Many banks put statements on their websites. People can read their statements on their home computers. Many people use ATMs. ATM stands for Automated Teller Machine. An ATM can do some of the same things a bank teller can do. People use ATMs to make withdrawals or deposits. You have to have a bank account to use an ATM. You need a secret code number to use an ATM. The number is called a PIN. PIN stands for Personal Identification Number. Loans. Does the money in your bank account just sit at the bank? No, the bank uses it. But don't worry, you can get your money back when you need it. This girl has taken some money out of her account. Banks use our money to help people in the community. A family might want to buy something big, such as a house. They will borrow money from the bank. This family just bought a house. They borrowed the money from the bank. The money borrowed from a bank is called a loan. This woman is a loan officer. She helps people figure out how much to borrow. People must repay banks for loans. Most people repay a little money every month. It might take years to repay a big loan. Credit cards. Did you know that using a credit card is like getting a loan? A credit card is a plastic card that people use to buy things. Many people get credit cards from banks. The bank pays for things that people buy with credit cards. Then the people must repay the bank. So there's a difference between a credit card and a debit card. So a little bit ago I explained that a debit card is like a check and it when you when when you or your parents use a debit card the money is being taken or withdrawn from their checking or savings account when people use a credit card that means they are borrowing money from the bank and it's a lot like a loan so we are at the end of the book right now with some activities and I'm just gonna move past the activities and I wanna uh, spend just a, just a moment looking at the glossary and I just wanna tell you again how important a glossary is because it tells us the meaning of new words and in this nonfiction book, there's a lot of words that are expert words about this topic. Of okay, second graders. I hope that this read aloud helped you better understand how banks work.